up guys, today I'm going to show you how to, let's say, fight back against Steam scammers. Now, if you've ever used Steam before, you've probably been contacted by some random person or perhaps even a friend asking you to log into a website and uh, put in all your Steam details and other details for like your email and stuff like that in order to get free games. Now, before I walk you through the steps on how to use this tool, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. First thing I'm going to talk to you about is the ethics of it, of using this application. Um, if you think about it, the larger picture type of thing, you're basically saving someone from being scammed in the future by forcing these scammers to shut down their website. Uh, also, in the future, you're making it more difficult for scammers to run their websites, especially if people, if this gets out and people start using it to fight back. Now, of course you can report websites to the authorities, but if the scammers are in another country, such as, I don't know, like Nigeria, I hear about lots of scams coming from there, uh, your authorities can't really do much about it, so you know, you're kind of stuck in the water without an oar. Now, this is a tool, like any tool, it can be used for good or for evil. It's really up to the individual how they use it. So keep that in mind, I accept no blame for any of the stuff that comes from this. Uh, you should use this at your own risk. There is no viruses in it, but, you know, I don't know what it could do, so I take no responsibility for any harm that happens. Uh, this should also be used for educational purposes so you can learn how you know the internet works a little more and how you know people scam or try and scam people or whatever uh, I also give no guarantees that this will work now there are other tools you can use for that do the same job basically uh, iMacros in Firefox will allow you to do it it's a Firefox plugin if you know how to edit the uh, macro files and stuff like that. I don't know, there's a couple of other ones. If you've got any experience in programming, like using WinSock or whatever, or Windows, you could probably make something like this yourself. It's not extremely difficult. I don't actually know why no one's thought of it before, but maybe I'm just kept in the dark with these things. <laughs> don't really know. Anyway, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do it, how to recognize a scamming website and how you can use this to shut them down. Okay, so this is a dodgy Steam website. It asks you to put in your Steam username, password, email, and your email password. And of course it wants you to log in to so obviously stupid enough to enter in all those details. Now, the first thing you want to do is find where this login button is submitting to Easiest way to do that is to look at the page source. Now, this page here is encoded, so you can't directly view the source. I'm guessing the scammers are getting smarter. But what you can do is go to this website, which I will link in the description. That one there. And it basically tells you how to get around these types of encodes and decodes and basically what the scammers have done. Now all you need to do is grab the encoded text from the page source from after the first single quote to the very end. Let's go to the end. Okay. To here. And then paste it into here and Translate it back into the page source. Okay, good. So now you just copy that. Let's open up uh, Notepad. Where are you, Notepad? There you are. Notepad, okay. Now, you have to be a little familiar with HTML, so email password. Let's look for that text in here. password. Ah, let's go to the very top and search again. Okay, here we go. 
here it is. Now let's look for our form. Form ID, no. No, that's the search. For method post, ah, uh, here we go, here it is. And void.php. So, where this is actually submitting to is this website and, and void.php. Now that we've got that, we can just save that into Notepad for the time being. Oops. So, we will need it later. But this string is very important. So, just keep that handy for the time being. Okay, the next thing you want to do is download a WAMP server. You can basically do that by typing in WAMP server and searching for it. WAMP is for Windows, which stands for Windows Apache MySQL PHP server. If you're on Linux, it'll be called MAMP. Oh, sorry, if you're on Linux, it'll be called LAMP. And if you're on Mac, it'll be called MAMP. You can basically click on the first one that you come to, 32 bits, and download it directly, and of course direct download. I will download that, and install it. Close, close. Okay, double click. I want to run. Okay, next, I accept. So you drive WAMP. Yes, this probably won't come up for you, but since I've done this before, it's asking me this. Next, next, or oh, install. Just give it a minute to install. Uh, I just click open for explorer.exe. Leave that alone. Don't launch it for now. Finish. Okay. So now that I've done that, um, you want to open up the script in Notepad. Okay, this is the script that I have created. So you can basically fill that database up with useless data. Now I've commented it all, so it's readable and stuff like that. Please be careful with it because you can do a lot of damage to websites with it if you know what you're doing. Uh, the bit that you want to replace is this string here. This was an older website that I found, a scamming website. But you'll want to put this string into here and save. Okay, now let's go to our C drive WAMP folder. Oops, I better move that so you can see it. So make sure you're in C drive WAMP in your www directory and put in the this file, which is the script. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is start the WAMP server. So start and click on WAMP server. It should now be working. So let's type in localhost and BAM it is. Alright, now let's try the script ran sand.php go curl in its online 15 that is because I'm using a curl function if this does come up the way you can fix it is to go into your oops wrong dub 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 folder computer c drive where here. So I'm guessing apps, bin, Apache, Apache, 
Uh, sorry about this, I'm just um, trying to figure it out. So it's not in http.conf, it's actually in the PHP settings. So um, to get to that, you go to WAMP server, click on the PHP uh, menu. I wish I could show you this, but uh, just left click on the WAMP server icon. It's a W, whoops, in your system training, your clock. Click on php.ini. This will open up. You want to search for curl. happening. I think my mouse just jumped randomly. Yeah. Ugh, okay. Yeah, curl here. This line here and what you want to do is remove the semicolon and then save. Close that. And then you want to restart the WAMP server. Restart all services and go back to your Ransand page. Okay, click refresh, and it looks like it's working. Okay, sweet, we're in business. Now, if you are successful, in about five, 10 seconds, it'll load up. Yes, it worked. These are the spoof IP addresses that it does. These are the the names and stuff like that, MSM password, which is basically random text. So this will continue running for as long as you leave the browser window open. So if you really want to annoy them, just leave it running while you go to bed or whatever, and it'll basically wipe out their database. Now if they do block you, some of them do, you can just switch your modem or router off for it to change your IP address. Some ISPs don't provide dynamic IP addresses. In that case, you're out of luck, really. But generally, this action here is good enough for them to get confused. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm guessing tomorrow when I wake up, this site will no longer be active, which is good for me. All right. If you have any more questions, leave it in the comments. This script is totally open source and I promise you that there's no like hidden viruses in it because really, this is all the script is. Um, you're free to modify it for better suiting scammer websites or whatever, but uh, yeah, have a great day.